the danger lurking in the recovery. New specialist Lad Egan's live with what she is talking about. Lad? Yeah, Dave, the big concern is reopening businesses, then just having to close everything again. The chief economist for the Salt Lake Chamber says it's just one of the possible shapes Utah's economic recovery could take. We probably entered this crisis in about as good a shape as we could have. Kem C. Gardner Policy Institute Director Natalie Gochner says Utah's powerful economy has been dealt a blow. So let's be honest, it's been a brutal hit. We believe that in just uh, a short 42 days, 45 days, we've lost all of the jobs that we created in the last three years. She thinks we've hit the low point. The big question now, how will Utah recover from the COVID-19 recession? I think the economic consensus is that this is not a one and done deal. Gochner rules out a V-shaped recovery, which would be a swift return. She also says it won't have a U-shape with a longer low, but still a brisk uptick. The worst case scenario, the L shape, where the economy stays flatlined for years, also very unlikely, she says. We also want to avoid the W shape, also known as the dreaded double dip, a recovery followed by another rapid fall, devastating consumer confidence. I don't expect this to be a W shaped economy because I think our governor and our leaders have designed a process for us to gradually reactivate the economy and reintroduce economic activity. Rather than one of those letters, Gochner expects a tilted checkmark recovery with the big drop we've already had, followed by a steady but slow climb taking up to two years. Make sure that people don't think that this is a light switch. You know, that we we move from April to May and reactivate the economy and then we just go create all this economic harm by going right back to where we were. We actually have to do this slowly. To avoid that double dip recession or that W shape, Gochner says that Utah needs to prioritize testing, follow those public health guidelines, continue to innovate and make wise public policy choices. She outlines all of this in a guest column in the Deseret News. I'll link to that on our website, ksltv.com. But Dave, she is optimistic saying that Utah will get through this because we don't have any underlying economic weaknesses or imbalances to deal with. That's a good news on what's been a good news kind of day. Lad Egan live for us tonight. Thank you, Lad.